us, are we? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Transistor. This is a game that, uh, uh, if you're into paying attention to uh, more indie games on Steam, you may have heard of this one. Uh, this is a game that I've... I'm, I'm gonna come clean here. I've recorded myself playing this uh, intro bit a couple times now, because things keep popping up that I need to fix. But, uh, we're here now, and we're going to play it. Because, hey. Uh, it is a beautiful game with uh, a really, really well-done combat system that I am in love with, and would love to see more of in the future. But I don't know if it could be fit into other games very... In a way that fits with other game themes. But we'll see in the future if, any, if that happens. For now, we just have to enjoy the fact that this game has it. This game uh, also has an amazing soundtrack from what I've heard so far. And you can buy the soundtrack with the game. It is not free, however. It does cost, like, $10, I think, so... If you want the soundtrack, which is a fantastic one, then you're gonna have to get it there. Uh, and that said, let's jump right into it, shall we? Yikes. Found us already. They want you back at that. Indeed they do. Ah! Uh, alright. So I need to remember, combat is, uh, uses the number keys mostly, which is something I'm not entirely used to. So that thing I just picked up, basically I need to make sure that I pick it up. Uh, otherwise, the monster or being or whatever it was that I just destroyed will respawn, which is kind of not a good thing, so... Bam. So we want to avoid that as much as possible. Ooh. And here we're about to uh, experience the uh, coolest part of the combat system in this game. And, uh, well, just watch. Basically, when you press space, you enter a kind of uh, bullet time mode, I guess, where you can plan out a move. So it's like, it's real time, but it's also turn-based. So pressing space puts you in the kind of turn semi-turn-based type mode, which also plays the music that plays in the area, but with a cool, like, singing in the background, which is just beautiful sounding. I absolutely love the music in this game, and everything works really well together, so. Hey, up there. Hello, world. Hello. Look at all that. It's beautiful. We're on the edge of town, a hundred blocks away. Cool. Whoa. Uh, this game is weirdly hard on my computer. I don't have the best computer, uh, but this game is especially hard on it for some reason. So there will be a little bit of lag, so hopefully we can kind of shove that out of our minds and perceptions and just kind of enjoy the game for what it is. But let's go ahead and check this out. 
There's the empty set. Still too close to it. We better get as far from there as possible. So, yeah, this game kind of throws you in the middle of shit and doesn't explain a whole lot to you. And from... Uh, it doesn't explain a whole lot can, until... Even after the point that I am later, when I played through this the first time. It just not much is explained. You kind of need to glean what information you can yourself. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. But let's go down. I get it. Like a block of information. Alright. Okay, so I need to aim at them. Which you can do like this, and let's see if we can get all four of them in one go. It does appear that we can. And zappity's- oh shit, I missed one. Uh oh. And let's see if we can do this. And then move here and do this. So yeah, I really like this combat system. It makes me feel kind of like, you know, zipping around faster than the speed of sound. It's, ooh, all right. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really cool combat system. That's all I can really say about it. Because I, I don't have the words to describe it. All right, so apparently this dead person, uh, their soul was uh, kind of existed in this block-like format or whatever, and it contains, in I, I'm fairly certain, I'm not 100%, but I'm fairly certain we live inside of a computer because this all seems very obviously computer-esque and but I guess she was some sort of information thing in the computer and uh, she died and now we have that information and have absorbed it and made it into a uh, an attack which is something that is kind of weird but well obviously thank you for pointing that out but uh, it's it's I, I don't I don't think I've ever seen that really in any other games. Ooh. Wish it was raining. Cover your tracks. Tomorrow's forecast. Tonother is a Jesus. Tomorrow is another day in Cloudbank. How would you like it? Which climate is more to your liking? Ah, of course. Um oh wow. Okay, so we obviously live in some sort of digital world because well, I mean, we can choose what the weather is. Um, I'm gonna go for a warm, clear, light breeze. Thank you for voting. Warm and clear, second place. Oh, well, these people don't Where know what's we? up. What's ah, okay. Um, apparently it was a trap. Oh, right, because we're on the run, and I used a terminal, and it said, uh, hey, we used, we authenticated your user, yada, yada, yada. So it knows that that was us. That may have been a mistake. My bad. But the important thing is, ow. We are all good now, as I know how to handle myself, so don't even worry about it. I'm a professional. And we just wait for our, I think it's a drive, is what it's called, to, uh, actually, hang on, I'm gonna try this. We wait for our drive to recharge, and then we can go back into bullet time drive mode. Which is pretty sweet. So that was our new ability, uh, Spark. Basically just shoots no grenades, which is kind of cool. It's like a scatter bomb type thing. And who doesn't love a good area of effect attack? 
when there are swarms of enemies beating down upon you. I know I do. Hey, end of the plaza. It's you. It's me? While I was paying attention to that poster, something popped up behind me. Kind of rude if you ask me, but hey. But yeah, this music, ah, oh, I love it. It is my, I, music makes a game for me. It's just, anyway. Um, God, I love that. I love the way they transition the music and change it when you go into, like, this drive mode. It's just... everything about this game is beautifully done from what I've seen so far. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try attacking twice. But, that is futile, as you can see after I do this. It's one of the only enemies I've come across so far that is able to dodge when you attack multiple times. Uh... When you attack multiple times, using this. Okay, yeah, cool, I, I know how to do that. Like, one of the only ones that I've seen so far. But, I suppose it's good to have enemies that make you rethink your strategies. Otherwise, things get a little too easy. But bang, we did it. Oh, right, and then they drop a bunch of these guys. Uh, I'm gonna try doing this, and then I'm going to, yeah, take care of them real quick. Oh, I got all of them. Excellent! But yeah, so from what I understand in this game, basically the story is, you're red, that's me, that's this person right here, and I have a talking sword, and my voice was stolen by somebody. And, uh, it appears as if we killed someone, because we just kind of started near someone who was impaled with my sword. So, I may have killed someone? Uh, that isn't exactly established. But, I'm sure we'll find out as time goes on. So, let's continue. This didn't used to be here. Oh, didn't it? Uh, ah, so, we're gonna need to do this, and then mm, this. And then zippity on over to there, and we get both of them. Okay. Yeah, you like that, do you, sword? Oh, all right, Moil P, disposition elusive. So, I guess they're dead, but they're not really dead. Uh, they're only kind of... They, they're only mostly dead. Um, but they're still somewhat existent in, like, blocks of information that hover above their corpses. Seriously, we live in a computer and it's like the people inside of it fully know it. It's... it's there's a lot of unanswered questions here, but I hope to discover them. Anyway, we just got this move, which is, uh, pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite moves, personally. Oh, no. It's a big guy! Cut off our escape. Cut off! Trapped Come like on, rats! Alright, and then, yeah. Oh, no, it's not drive, it's turn. So, um, we activate turn mode. Okay, that's what it's called. Alright. And seriously, ah, okay. I started walking towards... Not cool, man.
All right, that'll work. Um, I really like the way they... The, I really like the sound of the music once you go into turn mode. Uh, I like... I just, I just really like how this game is just... Ah, shit. I didn't grab the thing and it respawned. That was a mistake on my part. I do apologize. And then... Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. But yeah. And we got it this time, so we're good. Oh, alrighty then. And we should be good. Yes, indeed he was a jerk. Uh, we leveled up! Huzzah! Bounce. Ch discharge a ricocheting bolt that jumps from target to target, yada yada yada. I think I'm going to use this one instead. This is the one I chose last time, so... We're still here. Yes, we are! All right, okay, so these kind of act as like, you know, shop type thing, or places where you can upgrade. So, um, all these are already activated, so let's equip this to something. Basically, a lot of the um, abilities, you their abilities are called functions, I guess, in this game, which works with the overall computer theme. And the... Every function kind of acts as a main move, like uh, um, this one, Breach. It's that like beam, that blue beam that you can shoot. Uh, that's what it does as that. But it also serves as an upgrade to abilities. So you can have four functions, and uh, you can use other functions to upgrade those functions and make them do different things. Kind of like... Um, the elements in Magicka, if I think about it like that. They're, you know. But, let's see. Okay, what would this do? This will do backstab damage, backstab damage, user stealth, uh, user stealth. I think I'm going to give it to this one and give that backstab damage. Sounds pretty good to me. Good. Just one more block. I want to show you something. I want to be shown something. What could it be? Okay, there's a... Wait. Back, 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 back. Oh, well, what a surprise. Oh, God, there's a lot of these little guys, too. I love the music in this game. All right. Okay, so I gotta be careful about this, and then okay, ah, uh, catching up to me, kind of, kind of encroaching upon my space. I would appreciate it if you would back up a little bit. That would be awesome. Don't know why I didn't do two of them there, but... Okay. Ah! He's bigger. He's bigger and faster. He's a lot faster than, uh... Than he was before. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um... I wasn't able to do that when I thought I could, and ow, ow, ow. Oh, shit. Okay, right. And this should be it. All right, we're good. We did it. Uh, boom. They're gone, but so is this whole block. Yeah. But, anyway. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do, but... All right, so yeah, that's a boss, I guess. But yeah, let's go this yeah, way. Good call. 
That's our way out. A bike. Awesome. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that was the first episode of Transistor. I, um, yeah, that's, this is a really good game from what I'm seeing so far. It's got a great, great soundtrack that I will definitely be listening to outside of playing this game. It's uh, got a beautiful art style, which reminds me oddly of Ava's Demon. Uh, that's a, it's a webcomic that uh, I highly recommend. It's just... They, they, they seem somewhat similar in um, art style to me. I don't know if that's actually true, but they do seem like that to me. But, yeah. Plus, uh, so, great music, great art, great, really, really fun combat from what I've experienced. Pretty simple. It's a pretty easy-to-grasp formula. I imagine that it'll probably end up becoming a little more complicated, but um, we'll have to see when we get there. And for just for now, it's pretty easy to grasp. So... Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.